Everyone has a black hole in their life, don't they? That gap that they can't quite account for. Where years seem to have just gone by with nothing much happening. Memories lost to time. Now for me that black hole revolves around 1997 when I just walked out of Bolton General Hospital. And I didn't find my way back home for several years. Rebecca had warned me about getting tied down to a job. It'll get you in the end, she said. And I was the longest I'd ever stayed in one job. I started working as a hospital porter, planning to stay for a few months before, you know, moving on. Somehow, ten years passed. But it was good. It felt all right. I had friends. It was a nice, active job. I felt like I was involved in helping people. It was all I wanted, all I needed. But then, one day, it just wasn't. It's a hard thing to explain, but something must have just been building up for a while and clicked and I hadn't even noticed it before, but then, and I just walked out. I was overcome by this compulsion to walk. And as I walked through the winding streets, turning back on myself, over and over, circling the same concrete blocks, fixed to the ground like great unmoving epicenters of the tangles of spiralling life moving, but not really going anywhere. I found wormholes in the street names, temporary transporters, to daydreams of another life, another life that I didn't want. Turbulent, troubling, from a harsher time in history, as though my dissatisfaction with a nice steady job in a clean hospital was being mocked. Plantation close. Obstacles close. Carnarvon close. I was trying to follow the signs to Halton Castle, but the signs only sent me around in circles. I was drifting around the history of this place, but never quite catching it, never quite connecting to those signposted routes. 